to him? Have you kind of been, you know, keeping him confident throughout this whole thing? What's been the message from the team to him? Yeah, I think a lot of the guys saw him after the game, like in the ambulance, actually, you know, walking back to the bus. And I got to, you know, just say a few words to him. But it's hard to go walk up to one of your, your closest friends and, and see him crying like that, just knowing that his season's kind of over and um, he doesn't know what his path looks like going forward. But just knowing Jalen for the past couple of years, he's one of the hardest workers I know, and he's going to bounce back from something like this. And that's kind of what I told him. And I shot him a text again yesterday. But um, we're all with Jalen, and he knows that if he needs anything, he can come reach out to us, and, and we'll help him in any way um, that we can. Charlie Potter, go ahead. Hey, Mag, just what did you see from Slade when he stepped in there for Jalen, and, and just how has he kind of approached all of this with him having a bigger role? Yeah, I mean, that's not an easy thing to do, to um, come in not knowing that you're really going to play a lot. Um, and Slade, you know, hadn't been playing as much as he probably would want to. And he came in, and I told him, you know, this is – it's a game, and you're ready to roll, so just do your job. And he did exactly that and some. So, um, you know, just going on from here, he knows that – He's kind of stepped into a bigger role, and I've been in that position before too, but it doesn't really change. You just go out there and do your job, and Slade's been doing that since he's got here, um, and he's one of the most improved players on our team, and he's going to continue to grow and improve. Tony Sakalas, over to you. Hey, Mac. With a guy like Javon Baker, uh, how quickly were you able to build a relationship with him, with him coming in over the summer, and then what, what should we see from him? What can we expect to see from him moving on? Yeah, I think uh, all of our young receivers have done a good job. Um, Jay Bake's done a good job going out there every day, um, even in the summer, just getting to know him. Uh, he's a really athletic guy, makes a lot of plays. But, you know, all those guys have to be ready to play. And I think that's evident. You see every year somebody that's a younger player has to step up and make plays. Um, and that's just kind of how football goes. People get hurt. Things happen. So they know that they have to be ready. And, um, you know, I think they will be. It's going to be a learning experience for everybody. But, Right now, I feel like we got the best group out there, and whoever can contribute um, has to do that to the best of their ability. AP Stedham, go ahead. Hey, Mac. Uh, Say, Mac, I was wondering, you're holding the ball for a Will Riker. What's been the key to his success this year, and what can you tell us about the Mississippi State uh, defense and how they cover the pass? Yeah, I think Will's done a really good job um, just coming in. I know he's hurt last year for – a while obviously but he's done a great job in practice and you know just getting those reps with him and Thomas Fletcher obviously does a great job putting the ball right where it needs to be and I just put it on the ground and I have all the faith in Will you know I just tell him to go out there and let it rip I mean he makes the kicks and uh, he's really confident so I like looking looking at him knowing that he's confident um, and with Mississippi State yeah obviously they run a little bit of a, a different defensive structure um, you know they do defend the pass really well they're um, ranks, I think, number one statistically in the SEC right now. And I think they're a top 10 defense as well. So these guys, you know, they play hard. Um, they have some experience on their team and uh, also playing some young guys too. But they do have a little bit of a different structure that we have to be really locked into um, kind of compared to what we normally see. Haley Sutton, over to you. Haley, go ahead. All right, we'll go over to Michael Casagrande. Hey, Mac. Um, just wondering how have you, whether it's third down, whether you're tied or down in the game or coming off an interception, how do you think you have handled adversity and how has that maturity or how has that evolved since you got there at Alabama? Yeah, it's definitely gotten better. Um, I mean, really just focusing on doing your job. I always say that, but pretty cliche but really that's what it comes down to like regardless of the situation once you start thinking about like oh we got to get this third down or we need to score on this drive like I feel like a lot of people on our team sometimes think like that and it's hard to, to not think like that but really just telling everybody hey just focus on your job on this play and then once you look at it the plays just add up and I feel like we've done a good job but there's always room for um, improvement and we got to get better in some areas and you can see it on whether it's on the tape or just watching and practice areas that we need to improve at. Dennis Dodd, go ahead. Hey, Mac. Um, whoops. 
Uh, I'm sorry if this has been asked, but I, I just want to ask you, what, what does the world need to know about Slade Bolden? Um, I don't know if there's anything like uh, specific. I mean, Slade, uh, he's a guy who, who knows what to do. He knows where to line up. He's played a lot of different positions. Shoot, he's even played defense before in his spring, spring practices before. So, I mean, the guy knows a lot about football. Um, I mean, if you go watch his high school highlights, I always like watching his highlights. It gets me pretty fired up. He's making plays. So when you have somebody that can make plays like that and put them wherever you want on the field, he's a guy that's super versatile. And um, I've got a lot of bank reps with him. Like he's a guy, if I ever need to throw, whether it's at 12 at night or six in the morning, he'll be there. So I always appreciate Slade and he's going to do a good job and he's just getting started. Have These will be the that? final two. Steven Smith, go ahead. Hey, Mac, another playmaker for Alabama has been, you know, John Mechie. Of course, you and he, well, the both of you worked out over the summer, and you guys have had that connection since A-Day. But uh, what gets you excited about seeing him grow on the field? Yeah, I think uh, it's kind of been coming to fruition this year that he's been making a lot of plays. Um, you know, he's getting a chance, and he's always been a great route runner, a great player and a great person. So it shows up on the field on Saturdays and he's, his role will even increase more uh, now that uh, Waddle's down. But um, like I said, all of our guys gotta be ready to make plays and um, you know, all of our guys are, are doing a great job. We'll finish up with James Ogletree. Hey Mac, I wanted to ask you about Landon. He was one of the coaching staff's offensive players of the week this week. Uh, I saw him kind of pumping up the linemen before Georgia and just wanted to ask you about your relationship with him and what he brings to the offense as a blocker, but also uh, apparently as a oh, yeah. leader. Yeah, Landon, Landon is definitely one of my best friends um, and he does a great job out there leading like practice when we don't have any juice, Landon will bring the juice and, you know, he kind of makes football fun and, you know, sometimes when you get into these long days, it's like, oh, we have this, we have that, but Landon always has positive attitude. And obviously he's a great player. You can see that on the field. He's constantly knocking people down and our whole offensive line feeds off that. But <clears throat> he's definitely kind of the center point there. And, you know, you can always go to him, whatever problem you have. I mean, whether it's a car problem or anything like that, he can fix anything. So I always call Landon if I need something. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mac. All right, appreciate it.